Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll begin our lesson with problem number 77. Problem number 77. Let's see what it has to say. Question is what is the interest earned? What is the interest earned on $1,000 invested for N years at P percent interest per year? P percent interest, P percent simple interest. What is the amount of interest are we going to earn if we were to invest $1,000 for n numbers of years and if the bank is to pay us certain percentage, let's say P percentage, how much amount we will earn in the, in the form of interest at the end of the n years period. Let's find out, shall we? Well, we know that we're going to earn P percent, that's given to us, P percent. That tells us that if you were to invest $100, $100 at P percent, at P percent will yield how much? $100 at P percent will yield how much? $100 invested at, it should say P percent, at P percent will yield for example, $100, $100 at 3%, if you have $100 invested at 3%, will yield the interest of $3. $3. invested at 7% will give us $7 in one year. $100 invested at 20% will give us $20. $100 invested at P% will yield P dollars in one year. We are not investing $100, are we? We are not investing $100. We are investing thousand dollars. We are investing thousand dollars. So that tells us that thousand dollars invested at P percent should yield how much? If one hundred dollars is earning P dollars in interest, two hundred dollars will earn twice as much, three hundred dollars would have earned three, three times as much, thrice as much, and therefore thousand dollars should earn ten times as much. Ten times P dollars in one year. Well, if this is the amount of interest you earn in one year, then if you were to invest it for two years, you should earn twice as much. If you invest it for three years, you should earn thrice as much. If you will leave the money for seven years, you will earn seven times as much. We are not investing for one year or two years or three or five or seven years. We are told that we are going to invest it for n years. So same amount of money, a thousand dollars, invested at p percent, should yield should yield 10 times, you should have said 10 times P here, it's not 10 dollars but 10 times P dollars, 10 times P dollars in one year. You see 100 dollars earn 3 P dollars therefore 1000 dollars will earn 10 times P. If 1000 dollars earns 10 times P in one year, then 1000 dollars invested for n years in n years should earn 10 times p times n. I need I don't need the 10 times n times p dollars. That is your final answer. The final answer is how much money will we earn in the form of interest if we were to invest one thousand dollars for n number of years as p percent? The answer is we will earn 10 times n times p. Why 10? Because hundred dollars would have earned P dollars, therefore thousand dollars will earn ten times P dollars in one year. If thousand dollars earn ten times P in one year, then thousand dollars invested for n year should earn ten times n times P or ten times n times ten times P times n or ten times n times P. That's all. Let's do the next one, shall we? Let's do the next one. What is the amount of interest earned on D dollars? This is number 78. What 
what is the amount of interest earned on D dollars in Y years at 7% per year. Now, as a notation, uh, if this, if it simply says 7%, if it simply says 7% does not actually specify that it is in fact simple interest, not a compound interest, then it is understood. It is assumed that it is indeed simple interest. Had it been compound interest, it would have said so explicitly. If it doesn't say anything, that it's assumed by default that it is a simple interest. We don't have to keep writing simple interest, simple interest, simple interest every time. Do you understand? That will be annoying. So let's do that. Let's see how, let's see how much we earn. The story will begin. The story will begin in the same fashion as before, which is we start our story. We start out our story by asking ourselves, how much are we going to earn if we were to invest one hundred dollars at seven percent? One hundred dollars earns seven dollars in one year. Why $7? Because it tells us that it yields 7%. That's what we'll earn. $100 will earn $7. We're not investing $100. We want to invest, we want to invest D dollars. But before we worry about D dollars, let's build it up gradually. So if, if $100 earns $7, that in fact implies, that implies that if we were to invest just $1, then we should earn one hundredth of the amount. One dollar should earn one hundredth of the amount, seven over one hundred dollar in one year. We are not investing one hundred dollars, we are not investing one dollar, we are investing D dollars. So if one dollar of investment earns this much interest in one year, then two dollars of investment should earn twice as much interest in one year, three dollars should, uh, should yield three times as much, and therefore D dollars should earn D times as much. Hence, D dollars should yield D times this amount of interest in one year. Well, if this is how much we earn in one year, then if you were to keep this money for two years, we should earn twice as much. If you keep it for three years, we should earn three times as much. If you keep it for seven years, we should earn seven times as much. We're not keeping it for one or two or three or five or seven years, we're keeping it for Y years. That in turn implies the D dollars invested invested at seven percent for for Y years Y years should earn Y times this amount D times seven is seventy seventy over one hundred times Y dollars. That is your answer. Our final final answer is seven D over one hundred time, times Y. Now, if you want it. I forgot to do it in the last problem, but let's do it right now since I remember it. If you want it, you could actually verify it. It only takes a couple of seconds to verify it. It's always a good idea to verify your answer. Make sure that the answer that you get arithmetically by plugging in numbers is the same answer that is going to be yielded by the answer that you're claiming to be the right answer. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's, let's plug in numbers and uh, let's do that. Let's, let's, inv let's invest. Let's verify it here. How much do you want to invest? Let's invest, let's invest $500, $500 invested for three years at 7%. Now I should not have erased the problem because now I will have to go back and you have the problem in front of you. So $500 was the amount of money that we are investing which was D dollars. So 500 is the D dollars. Three years, I believe that was the N. Oh, that was the Y years. At 7%, at 7%, that's a given quantity. That's, that's a known quantity. That's not a variable. I was about to plug in something for it. I'm not going to plug in something for 7, 77. So let's begin our story, okay? So if you were to invest $100, if you were to invest $100 at 7%, 7%, at 7%, $100 will earn $7. Therefore, $500 will earn $35 in one year. If, it earns, if $500 earns $35 in one year, 
In three years, it will earn 35 times 3. We know 30 times 3 is 90, 90 plus 15 is 105. If we can get 105 out of this one, then we, are, then we have done the right work. Let's do it here on the side. This is our, this is our answer. 7 times D, 7 times B, which is 500, times Y, which is 3, over 100. And of course, we will get the same answer, because as you can see clearly, the 100, the 100 is going to drop out, the 100 is going to drop out, with the 500 there, if you divide top and bottom by 100, and we end up with the same exact thing as before, how did we get 105? We got 105 by realizing that $100 invested at 7% will yield $7 in a year. If $100 yields $7, $500 should yield 5 times 7, which is 35. That is your 5 times 7. And that's the amount of money we'll earn in one year. And therefore, if you were to keep it for 3 years, it will be 35 times 3. There you go, 35 times 3 is the same answer. No need to do it out, it's going to be the same answer. 7 times 5 times 3. 7 times 5 is the amount that we're going to earn in one year times 3 because we're keeping it for 3 years. We're plugging in 3 for Y, number of years. Bye now.